Your eyes have to get used to darkness if you are in Syria. For a week, I experienced what it is like to be a Syrian in some of the country's most troubled spots. Long, dark, and very cold nights are what many Syrian families have to live with now. Abu Omar and 42 people of his extended family fled their home in Deir Zur in northeast Syria. The home was completely destroyed. The whole family with the grandchildren found comfort and safety in this home, even if they have to squeeze into these two rooms and the closet. I am Abir Etefa. I work for the World Food Program. This trip took me to different parts of Syria where I visited WFP food distributions in both government and opposition-controlled areas. I crossed the conflict line with WFP colleagues to reach people in Al Shaddadi district in Al Hasaka. It's an area under the control of the opposition where the needs are huge. The families survive on WFP food from one month to the other. They are mostly displaced from other areas and welcome the sight of the food trucks, especially children, who rush to help mothers to move the boxes inside the home. Wherever you go, you see torched homes, businesses, and some of the millions of civilians who left home in search of peace and safety. The World Food Program is making it a priority to reach displaced families who lost everything with the conflict that has dragged on in Syria for over two years now. WFP is expanding its assistance to reach two and a half million people with food in the next few months.